It's Giving Tuesday. I want to tell you a story about giving. It was back in, oh my God, very, very long time ago. I was still in full addiction. I was. And uh, me and my sister, which I live with her a lot, were just sitting at home doing nothing. And it was about lunchtime for the kids, you know, but our kids never came home. They always ate at school. We fixed their lunches for them to go to eat at school. But anyway, the, uh, the oldest girl came home with a friend. And we was wondering why she came home with a friend, because she doesn't normally do that. She said that the friend was being bullied in school. She had mentioned the little girl to us several times before about how the kids teased her and what condition she was in, you know. And so she, <laughs> Denise Hill, Mama mentioned her name. She's in her 50s now. Brought the little girl home. I wouldn't even know if she remembers or not. And uh, from what she had told us the several times before, we knew what to expect when she came in, you know. So the little girl sat down and she sat down. And Nisi was trying to explain the plot, what was wrong and why it was wrong. And me and my sister, we're twins. We just sat there and listened to her. And the smell from this little girl was ridiculous, ridiculous. How anybody could allow their child to come out of the house like that, it was mind-boggling to me, mind-boggling. So we sat there, and Lisi talked. The little girl didn't say nothing. She just sat there and listened to us talk about her. So then my sister, my twin sister says, well, why don't we go upstairs? How would you like a bath, she said. Little girl said, I, I'd love one, I'd love one. My mother never gives me a bath in the morning. She never helps her with a bath at night. And we got there to fix the bath water and she sat in the bath water and she could tell that we didn't mean her no harm. I didn't even really come into the bathroom because I looked so masculine and things, so I didn't come into the bathroom. I just stood outside the door. That was when I could stand up a long time. And my sister was in there bathing her back and making her feel at home. And she, I remember she told her, she said, lay down in the water, enjoy the water. You know, it was nice and warm and hot and things, and the little girl. She did what my sister asked. And I guess the little girl could feel that we meant her no harm. So she started telling my sister about what was going on. She says that uh, she don't want to get her mama in any kind of trouble, she says. But I know it's wrong, Miss Pe Miss Pro. I know it's wrong. That's what they call my sister Pro. Call me Pat. And the little girl kept talking. And as she talked, I stood there listening. And when she got to the part about at night, when it was should have been bedtime for her, it was business time for her. Man after man after man. That woman would bring men into the house or either they would come and knock on the door and each of them would give her what she wanted and she'd give them what they wanted which was that little young girl that girl uh, i'm listening outside the door then i walked into the door i looked at my sister my sister looked at me i said oh my god I said, Pro, come here for a minute. So she came out, we left the little girl in there just enjoying the warm water. 
I said, we got to do something about this. We can't let this go on. If, if this is true, and I think it's true the way that little girl smelled. I mean, she smelled like she hadn't had a bath in weeks. How anybody could want to go to bed with her was beyond me. Anyway, so we got a dress, we gave her an outfit of Nisi. Nisi didn't mind. Nisi wanted to help the little girl. She, and she's still like that today. She takes in kids and she raises them. She does it, it protects them. She's still like that today. She grooms them and make them good kids. I got to give that to Nisi. The police came and they took us to the little girl's house where she lived. And when we, the police pulled up, the mother was walking up the street. She said, oh, there's my mother right there. Mother came over to the car and the police told us, said, this your little girl? She said, yeah. And she started fussing. What have you done now? Why are you in a police car? What have you done? Police said, ma'am, she hadn't done anything wrong. Not a thing. All she wanted was help. Help from what, she says. Police, female police. She said, help from you. What do you mean by that, she says. Oh, Lord, I can't see nothing without the glasses. What do you mean by that, she says. And the police started telling her right there on the street what the little girl said and what me and my sister had done because we followed the police in our car. And now she wants to fight us because she's doing wrong to her daughter. Everybody else in the world is wrong but her. My sister went down to the... Uh, police station with them and saying, well, don't need me going down there. I had heard the story. We called the police. I did my part. My sister went down there and they gave her the little girl for a short term until they could find out if she had any relatives and stuff like that. But they also took her to the hospital where they found out she had gonorrhea. A couple of different things she had. From having all these men come in and just have sex with her. She was like a, a hole just laying on a bed. Come on now. Come on. I'm not bragging about what I done did because I could tell you story after story after story. But I wanted to share this one on Giving Tuesday of how I and my sister, and they, all of them, the police, it was just so wonderful how they embraced that little girl and uh, wanted to help her. I mean, when they heard the story from my sister on the telephone, they was there like that. Can't even pop a finger no more. They was there like that. People do love people. We deal with this every Tuesday here in our area of North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We treat, we give haircuts, we give clothes, we give food, we give emotional touching, spiritual touching, and we let these people know when they come into our facility, which is Hope's Kitchen, that they are loved. That they are loved. As a matter of fact, I did.